Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to Draco Gaming. Today, we're going to be talking about Process Lasso and how to use this software to improve your gaming experience. As usual, no BS, no fluff. Here we go. Welcome to Process Lasso. This uh, application is free. You can go to bitsum.com, go to Process Lasso, and click download for free. They do have a pro mode, but it's not needed. They also have a new efficiency mode. Uh, which will take up less resources. So let's go ahead and just have the app installed here. Let's take a look at how this application works and what you can do. So right now it's showing you on the top left of some information on how much processors, uh, its percentage is being used, the responsiveness, the memory load, etc. Um, and kind of an overall timeline graphical chart of how uh, your system's running and, and if it's running quickly or not. So right now, what it's showing you is every single process that's running on your system here in this main display area. And it's showing you what its priority class is, how many CPUs are attached to it. So obviously like all 24 of mine. So in the computer world, engineering world, a lot of things start at zero, not one. So zero to 23, so there's my 24 processors or threads are all um, attacking these things at a normal processing rate. Now, some things are at high and all these things can be changed. The priority class can be changed. How many CPUs or which CPU threads are actually uh, worker bees are being assigned to the process and etc. Now they may all sound kind of confusing and stuff, but it's really not. As simple as kind of one, two, three. All you really need to do is go in here and sort by how much memory and CPU process uh, these things, these applications are actually taking up. And you can see right now is like 246 uh, megabytes are being used by IQ and Firefox and some of these more uh, demanding apps or your, your games, etc. There's also double processes of Firefox running for some reason, as well as tons, a uh, th triple actually. So there's some stuck ones that may be actually running. Um, even though I only have one kind of window and tab open, there's some pro stuck processes that we may want to kill. Now, you can set this uh, to open up uh, when you launch Windows, so it gets your system into an optimized mode. When you first install the application, you can let it know to uh, automatically run when Windows starts, etc., and you can change those settings later. Um, but there is a lot of different settings in here that, without confusing you too much, are really, really helpful. But they do have some profile templates you can just kick off right off the bat. So you can do a pro balance enabled. And when this app is open, it'll actively start managing processes and keeping things at a at a, at a performance level. Um, there is a performance, uh, there's a pro balance, but there's also performance mode that you can enable. Um, and these different ones, try these different ones. And if they don't work out for you or they're, they're killing some process or task that, uh, that you need, you can go in here and adjust them manually. You can just each one manually. And so you can go to each task that's running or process that's in the background. And you can assign uh, a CPU priority. So instead of normal, it could be real time, high, above normal. Um, and you could, or you could tell it to currently do that, or you could tell it to always run in this mode, which is we'll set it permanently. So this is kind of uh, dynamic and this one's static rather. So it'll permanently be, and this one's temporary. Um, the CPU affinity, so you can, same with current and always, you can actually force it to choose you know which cpus or threads are assigned to it uh, little worker bees are assigned to actually handle that process and you can set that here and there's a ton of settings in this app to really really get a buckle down on your system and op optimize it but between the cpu priority and affinity for the processes and adjusting what each one does or in running one of the main profiles here it can really really improve your system and give you total control over optimizing uh, and getting the performance for your video games. And there's two tabs here, and there's also other tabs you can add, but there's all processes and active processes. So these active processes that are actively uh, using system resources the most would be some of the ones that are being actively used right now. I'm actively using my headset. I'm actively inside process uh, lasso right now. And so these are the things I'm actively using. And so uh, it can give you a lot cleaner view instead of looking at all processes. Also, if you don't remember what settings you did or which processes you've altered, you can go down here to the actions log and you can you can see what you actually changed and then undo that or go back. So this is really helpful as well. Down here at the very bottom also, there's a ton of information with CPU affinities, the timing, responsive rate, how much of your RAM is being utilized, like right now 25% of mine, um, how many uh, processes are open, there's a total of 228. Um, a bunch of different information, um, even information on your operating system as well as your CPU. And this is the unlicensed free version and it offers so much things, free updates and total control. Um, you can enable different performance options for your CPU, your memory, your power options and, and different things. 
Thank you for letting me go through a crash course on your first time starting to use Process Lasso. It can really help your overall performance and your gaming experience. I'm Drake Ray here to help the gaming community, and I'll see you next time.